Hey everybody, I'm the Frosty Four. Welcome back to Game of Thrones. In the last episode, I found a note that told me to meet somebody in the middle of somewhere, and uh, they almost tried to kill me, but luckily the cool boy saved me, and I saved him. So let's jump back in. Ethan. And that guy. I love that guy. I don't like that guy. I like you, though. What's Gwyn Whitehill doing here? No idea. Hello, Roderick. Sir Roland. I like her voice. It's been a while since we've met. Yes. Last time I saw you, you and my brother had almost started a war. Your father wanted to murder Russia for your little love affair, remember? That was a long time ago. May we speak privately? Yes. My lady. Roderick, I came here because... I know how hard these past few days must have been for you and your family. Do you really? Because it sucks. I know my words probably mean nothing to you. But they're all I have. Your father caused this. He brought Ramsay to our door. He watched as that bastard killed my little brother. Yes, he had a part in it. But you cannot blame him for everything. Sure he can. Still. Your brother didn't deserve this. Neither of them did. Listen. I know my father is intent on using Ryan as a hostage. But I think you deserve some news of him. I know it's little consolation. But if I can offer you this... So you have news of Ryan? Yes. He's well. Not happy, but just know your brother is safe at High Point. I'm looking after him, but... What? The other day he said something that made me worry. He asked me if his father died because he was a coward. He asked if he was really a thief and a traitor like my father says. What a dick! I don't wish to upset you, but... Please help him, Gwyn. Don't let him believe what your father tells him. I've been doing my best to set him right. But he is only a child. He feels forgotten. Alone. He's waiting for his family, but every day my father tells him they will never come. That they've chosen their pride over him. We all think of him every day. Trying to find a way to bring him back to us. Will you tell him that? Of course. But if you truly want to bring Ryan home, this war has to end. You know that. I didn't start it. We don't have to be enemies, Roderick. I don't want to be. Hello, Gwyn. It's good to see you, Talia. I hope I can count on your discretion. Well, she was nice. Roderick, you should speak to Mother. Why, because she hates me? For good reason, I suppose. Because she thinks I sold my brother down the river. Come join the others. He should be here. He should be with his family, but instead they send her. Gwen came here on her own. She wanted us to know Ryan is okay. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one, but his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell. Saw our land destroyed. Everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. My children. That must have been hard for him. Losing them. And yet it does not come close to losing Ethan. Because he's the best. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? Yes, Mother. If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter what, you must do it. Promise me. I will kill anyone who stands in my way. I will do whatever it takes. Remember that. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett. They all stand with us. Garrett's not here. We are strong. Yes. I suppose we have to be. Garrett's probably never coming back. Because... Would you say a few words, my lord? Once you go black, you never come back. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> oh my god. I hate myself now. It's okay. My father. He, he was everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. He was always honorable. I never knew a better man. And I am... I am sorry. I love you, father. Ethan, my little brother. He stood up to Ramsay Snow. He saved our sister's life and paid with his own. He was only a boy. How old are they? We honor Lord Gregor Forrester, my husband, my love, and our Lord Ethan. My sweet little boy. <laughs> but now is time to say goodbye. Where Father are those? and son are returned to the earth, to the ice. And from their sacrifice, new life begins. Iron from ice. Iron, Iron from ice. From ice. <laughs> Oh. Going on a blaze of glory. I wonder if I could have changed that. From eyes, from eyes, we forced us born to eyes, we all return. Father, brother, I've sworn, I've sworn to guard this rest you've earned. I'd bear. was beautiful. I imagine that uh, the different choices make um, the song have different lyrics. So that is the end of episode two, The Lost Lords. Um, it looks like I picked the majority, even though I felt really guilty for not kissing Lord Whitehill's ring. It looks like most people did not do that. I'm sorry, but uh, after the way Ethan was handled, I just couldn't do it. Um, not even for Ryan. He's still alive, so I don't feel too bad about that. So I, 
I can't have messed things up too badly. I imagine that no matter what I did, things would still be going about the same. And besides, this is Game of Thrones. No matter even if I did everything totally perfectly, everybody would still die. So, thank you so much for watching, and drop me a note in the comments, and let me know what you thought of this. If you thought it was awesome, please like and subscribe for more videos for me, and I will chill with you next time. But until then, stay frosty.